Hi, this is PDF Berg's Arcade at bergsarcade.com, and this is part B of our 243 series. Uh, so let's go ahead and open up Unity. And, uh, well, we have model developable, but we're not going to need it for this one. Uh, there's one thing I actually forgot at the end of the last one, and that was to come over to our build settings and actually go ahead and actually add our levels. So we'll open them up, and it really doesn't matter what order you add them in because of the, the list um, that we created. Uh, but I would recommend adding them main menu first to have that load first. And since I am building this as a web player streamed version, uh, the order is kind of important for me as far as if I want to, want to keep it as a streamed web player. So after that, I, I load the character generator, character customization, and the tutorial. I'm going to switch over to a web build. I have mine set as streamed. I'm going to hit the switch platform right now and since I really don't have any assets or anything in here it automatically does it. it's pretty quick I'm also going to hit the player settings and the first streamed level is this one here and if you go over and look it's number one so we'll enter a one in over here and I'm just going to take a quick look make sure there's nothing else over here I want to change uh, my default screen resolution for the game that I'm making is different uh, it's going to be different for you as well and I'm not 100% sure exactly what the screen width and height are. It's a little weird. It's like 900 and something by 500 and something. Uh, but I'll look those up later since it's going to be different for everyone. I do know I want it to keep running in the background. So even when my game doesn't have focus, the game itself still keeps running. And I don't want a context menu. Now there's a few other options down here that you'll probably want to set up for your game. And it's going to be different for everyone else. So uh, go ahead and go through these and set them up. Uh, but for me, the main thing is that since it's a streaming game, I wanted to make sure I had the the level that uh, it starts streaming at set. And after that's done, go ahead, we'll close this down. And uh, let's move on to the main menu part. So I'm going to go ahead and create a new ga empty game object. Uh, this is how I generally do it. And I'm going to call it whatever the name of the script is I'm attaching to it. So I'm going to call it main menu. Now, since we're only dealing with one script in here, and really it's just kind of a non-GUI script, uh, we could have easily just attached it to the camera. Either way will work fine. Now the script itself is called main menu. So if we just search for it, here it is right here. We can just take it, drag it on, and it's only got one option. And that option is clear prefs. Now what this script does is when it's loading up, it checks uh, your player prefs where they're being saved. So if it's a, if you're on a Mac, it checks uh, for that plist file on your system. If you're on a Windows system, it checks uh, for the registry entries. Uh, basically, uh, the script checks to see what version is running. Uh, if we actually go ahead and open up the script, uh, you can run through it. It's fairly commented. Uh, you're going to go run through and look for uh, what version of the script, and I believe that's saved in game settings. It seems like something I'd save here. Uh, right here, version number. Uh, currently, I'm on 2.02. .02. And uh, anyway, it checks the version number. It checks to make sure that the character has uh, a name saved. There's a few things in here that we still have left to do, but for the most part, uh, it's pretty complete. Uh, let's go back into our our uh, Unity here. And if you check player prefs, when it runs, it's going to clear everything out of the registry, so it's going to be like the first time you've ever run this. And it's a great way just to reset everything for when you're um, uh, kind of debugging, trying to figure out exactly what's going on with your save files. So I'm going to go ahead and just leave that unchecked. And I'm just going to start it up. And you'll notice here we just come to a blue screen and we get some debugs. So there's no version key, deleting keys. Uh, it goes through, it saves the new version key, it says the level's ready, and it says the level can be loaded, so it loads it up. So you don't not really sure what's going on. Let's actually go ahead and go to uh, the next scene. So we'll clear the uh, search here. Let's go to the scenes and we're going to go to the character generation scene. Uh, yes, we want to save our changes. And all I'm going to do here is throw in a cube. Uh, just so we have some sort of visual confirmation when we're actually at that scene. So I'm going to go ahead and actually zero out the position of this cube. And there we go. You can see it now. I don't really care about how nice it looks or anything else. I just want to see it when I actually get to that scene. So I'm going to save this scene as well. And I'm going to start it back out. And if we notice here in our main menu scene, we don't see nothing. So when we start it up, there we go. So all it's doing is going through, checking the registry to uh, see if uh, we have a character already made. If it does, it's going to kick us out to the tutorial level. 
Uh, but since we don't have one made already, it kicks us up to the character generation scene. And then after the generation, we go to customization, then to uh, the tutorial. But anyway, as you can see, it does go there. I'm going to go ahead and go back into that scene, delete the cube. Uh, whoops, character generation. As I don't need it, uh, we'll go back to main menu. And that's pretty much it for main menu. Like I said, you can either throw it on its own game object or you can actually throw it on the camera itself. It really doesn't matter. Uh, but anyway, that's it. Let's move on to the next tutorial.